Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and I know I've been doing many of these car list videos lately as to what cars I would like to see in the future of Forza Horizon 4. And I'm very happy that you, the subscribers, have been enjoying them too. And a couple of weeks ago, I suggested the unicorn car of the BMW M3 GTR to return. And just recently, Playground Games announced that the M3 GTR would actually be returning, which is absolutely fantastic. Of course, there is a big chance that it was a coincidence. However, I would like to wind the clock back to Forza Horizon 3. And for those of you that remember the Motorsport All-Stars car pack, where it would contain 10 fully fledged racing cars that could be driven on all terrains in the world of Forza Horizon 3. Now, of course, in Forza Horizon 4, we have many more unique cars with a much larger spectrum. But for me, and I speak for many others as well, we would love to see the inclusion of some epic racing cars to experience in Forza Horizon 4. All these cars I will be mentioning are all already featured in Forza Motorsport 7, so moving them across to Horizon 4 would be an absolute breeze as I present to you eight racing cars that can easily be in Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with number one, the BMW number one BMW M Sport M8 GTE. Appearing in Forza 7 as a free spotlight car back in December 2018, this car was BMW's return to the 24 hours of Le Mans after a seven year absence. What is unique about this car is Unlike most current Le Mans GTE cars, this car was firstly designed and engineered to be a race car from the ground up, and since these cars need to be homologated in order to compete, the road going version of the M8 will follow after this. This M8 will be a great fun car to drive, producing 600 brake horsepower from a 4 litre twin turbo V8 and only appearing in Forza Motorsport 7, it will be a great motorsport vehicle to transition over to Forza Horizon 4. Number 2, the Porsche number 2 Porsche Team 919 Hybrid. If this car ever makes it into a Horizon game, it will be so easy to take corners as these cars are one of the best at tackling all sorts of bends around the world. As a racing car that competes in the Le Mans prototype class one, the 919 has always been a staple to the Forza Motorsport franchise as the most up-to-date Le Mans cars to be featured in the world of Forza. When we talk about speed and acceleration, the 919 is amongst the absolute quickest, accelerating from 0 to 60 in just 2.2 seconds from an all-wheel drive system and powered by a 2-litre turbocharged hybrid inline 4, it produces a whopping 900 brake horsepower. Just imagine some of the engine swaps we can do with an engine like this. Number 3, the Holden VF Commodore Supercar. As an Australian, I'm a little bit disappointed in seeing the emission of HSVs and Holdens in Forza Horizon 4, as in Forza Horizon 3, there were quite a few models that were unique to drive. Of course, I can understand it from a game developer's point of view, as these cars don't really suit the setting of the game. But for racing cars, they have to bring at least one racing vehicle from the Australian circuit, formerly known as V8 Supercars. Although now this VF Commodore has been superseded with the European Vauxhall, this was truly the last Australian racing supercar, with a 5 litre naturally aspirated engine producing 620 brake horsepower, they certainly aren't the slowest touring cars out. Number 4, the Mazda number 18 Mazda Speed 787B. Apart from the famous green and orange livery of the 787B, the other most recognisable thing about this early 90s Le Mans race car was the pure symphony that the engine makes. Known as the Bangshi Rotary, the engine noise was described as 7,000 cats being stung by 7,000 wasps, which is certainly an accurate description. As the last Japanese manufacturer to win the Le Mans, the 787B has a lot of legacy behind it. But honestly, from me, I only knew this car thanks to Gran Turismo. Powered by a 2.6 litre naturally aspirated 
four rotor rotary engine and producing 690 brake horsepower. How absurd but fun would this car be to go off-road in in Forza Horizon 4? Number five, the McLaren P1 GTR. From my understanding, according to some leaked images, the McLaren P1 GTR actually does exist in a build of Forza Horizon 4, most likely exclusive for developers only. However, what confuses me is that most of the other McLarens have been in both Horizon and Motorsport games. However, the P1 GTR has only appeared in Forza Motorsport games exclusively, whereas its biggest rival, the Ferrari FXXK, has appeared in both, which is very surprising even for Ferrari standards. Built as the ultimate track focused car, the P1 GTR produces a hefty 986 brake horsepower from a 3.8 litre twin turbo hybrid V8. Now if you ask me, I think eventually this car will come into Horizon 4. I mean at the end of the day, it is a British race car. Number 6, the Nissan number 75 Cunningham Racing 300ZX. Being featured in both Forza Motorsport 6 and Forza Motorsport 7, this is a very unique racing car which is loosely based on the Nissan 300ZX. Apart from the taillights, nothing else from the production car exists, but thankfully you can still see the silhouette of the 300ZX. Winning many races like the 24 Hours of Daytona and many more, this is one Nissan legendary race car but for some strange reason is not well recognized. Powered by a 3 litre twin turbo V6 pumping 780 brake horsepower, this car is death defyingly quick and is certainly a car that would qualify to appear in Forza Horizon 4. Number 7, the Formula E car. Despite what we all think about electric cars, that will eventually be the future of the automotive industry. But in terms of racing, Formula E hasn't necessarily reached the following that Formula 1 has, but is gaining popularity by the day with epic races throughout their seasonal calendar. Powered exclusively on electric, these race cars quietly produces around 268 brake horsepower, which doesn't necessarily sound like much, but because there is instant torque from the get-go, 0-60 can be achieved in just 3.2 seconds, which is certainly respectable and when you can corner around as well as a Formula 1 car, I don't see why this car shouldn't be brought over to the Horizon series. And number 8, the Renault RS17. Do I really need to say much? Before Forza Horizon 4 was released, I asked one of the creative directors of the game, will we ever see a Formula 1 car in this game? And his answer was, um, who knows? Now that's a phenomenal answer if you don't really want to give away anything, but come on, just think of all the cool things we could do with a fully fledged Formula 1 car around the streets of Britain or even going off road. It will be such an absurd sight to see, but the fun it will bring would be endless. Having the fastest acceleration of any racing car, that's because it achieves 1110 brake horsepower from a 1.6 litre hybrid turbo V6 and weighing just over 700 kilograms, the power to weight ratio is just truly remarkable. Just imagine putting rally suspensions and tyres on a Formula 1 car. Absolutely glorious. So there we have it guys, 8 racing cars from Forza Motorsport 7 that could easily be in Forza Horizon 4. Now there was one other car that I kind of missed out and that was the American NASCAR, particularly the Toyota Camry. Now I'm not sure whether or not that would have been a good choice, however every car list that I have been putting has a Toyota in it, but this one felt a little bit cliche and I just don't think it would be fitting for Forza Horizon 4, but again, it doesn't really have to make sense as long as it makes the game fun. I don't know, what do you guys think? What racing cars would you also like to see from Forza Motorsport 7 across to Forza Horizon 4? 
make sure to put it down in the comment section below. I do read them. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. And also, if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content in the very near future, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.